I'm grading exam papers at the dining room table when Emmy trots in. Hey, dude, she says. Where do we keep the superconducting wire? I'm not really paying attention, so I start to answer before I understand the question. Hmm? Wire is in the basement. It's next to the... Wait, what? The superconducting wire. Where do we keep it? We don't have any superconducting wire. And you're a dog. What do you need superconducting wire for, anyway? I'm building a particle collider. I need superconducting wire for the beam steering magnets. Again, you are a dog. Why are you building a superconducting particle accelerator? Well, I've heard all this cool stuff about the Large Hadron Collider over in Europe and how they're using it to make all sorts of new particles. And I thought to myself, that's a great idea. I should make one of those. See, my food comes as particles of kibble, and I figure if I slam them together hard enough, I should be able to create whole new flavors of particles. She's wagging her tail and drooling on the rug. Really? Yeah, I might even be able to discover the elusive bacon boson. It's responsible for making other kinds of particles yummy. The bacon boson? It's been predicted to exist for years, but it's never been observed by any dog. It'd be the most dramatic discovery in canine physics since... since... Since, like, ever. There's no such thing as a bacon boson. You're only saying that because nobody has ever observed one. But once I make my superconducting kibble collider, I'll be able to find it, and then I'll be famous. Okay, look, that's not going to work. Particle accelerators do make new particles by converting kinetic energy into mass, but it takes an incredible amount of energy to do that, way more energy than we can get around here. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Look, the peak energy of the proton beams at the LHC is around 7 trillion electron volts. That's only like 0 0.0000121 joules. That's like the kinetic energy of a mosquito. If you dropped a 1 gram piece of kibble off the kitchen counter, it would have 10,000 times the kinetic energy of a proton in the LHC. And E equals mc squared, so with that much energy, we can make all kinds of new particles. She wags her tail, looking smug. Okay, falling kibble has way more energy than an accelerated proton, true, but it still doesn't amount to much. Even if you could convert all of that kinetic energy into mass, which you can't, you'd only gain about 1 times 10 to the minus 19 kilograms. That's maybe 10 million atoms worth of extra kibble, which wouldn't change the flavor of anything, even if it was all in the form of bacon bosons, which, by the way, do not exist. But they create all kinds of stuff at the LHC, don't they? They do, but to get 10, 7 TeV of kinetic energy into a single proton, it needs to move at 99.99999% the speed of light. That's hard to do with protons, let alone chunks of kibble. Oh, and even when they do have the proton beams cranked all the way up, they don't manage to convert all of that energy into mass every time out. They're lucky to get a tenth of that. Maybe one collision in 400 million produces new particles with a mass energy equal to 5% of the collision energy. You'd need to run through an awful lot of kibble before you got any bacon, bacon bosons, if they existed, which they don't. Oh, her ears droop. How much kibble would I need? Um, if each piece was one gram, you would need something like 20,000 of the 40-pound bags I buy for you. At $30 a bag, that'd be $600,000. But don't say that we could write a grant proposal for that. The National Science Foundation is not going to buy your kibble. Oh, uh, okay. So forget about building a kibble accelerator to look for the bacon boson. It's not going to work. All right. Let me hear you say it. I won't be building a particle accelerator in the backyard to look for the bacon boson. Thank you. You're a very good dog. I scratch behind her ears, then resume grading papers. I guess I'll have to go with my original plan, then. Which was... Building a particle accelerator in the backyard to look for the steak quark.